Hi y'all, Crack and Latte here. Welcome back to Dragonflight Alpha. We are back at it with, you guessed it, professions. Since that's kind of mainly what I've been covering since it's, you know, uh, solo content. A lot of the current stuff is like uh, class testing and dungeons and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, professions. That's what we're looking at as I have been covering before. So, we have one new one this build. We have mining, because we have mining, herbalism, enchanting, and I don't think they're doing archaeology. What's the other one? Fishing. Fishing haven't been added in. Mining has been added. Uh, the other ones have not. So that's the one we're going to look at here. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the recipes real quick. We actually have quite a bit of a list and we have some fun ones down here at the bottom that we will get to. And first, can I can I just say, can you hear those frogs? Do you hear that ambience in the background? I, if you know my channel at all, you know I like, uh, I love Warcraft ambience. I love just the sound of wilds of different kinds. And I have to say, the ambience of the Dragon Isles is some of the best in the game, I kid you not. I am actually impressed. Because um, I live out in the country, I know what a lot of ambient sounds like. I've traveled a lot, and this sounds amazing, so... Enjoy the evening frogs while we look at our mining. So, recipes for mining. I have learned and unlearned filtered. And we can look at all of it. So first we have the refinement section. Much similar to the some of the other professions we've looked at. That we have a way to refine our materials and upgrade them. Which, you know, is taking it from like basic copper quality and upgrading it to silver and then gold, etc, etc. So we have refined draconium, refined titanicium. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that one. I'm still a little unsure. Because it could be titanicium. Or titanicium. Titanicium. I don't know. I haven't decided. And then refined tyravite. Um, which are the kind of the three main ores, it would seem, for this expansion. And can I just say, we'll, we'll look at one in a bit here. The ore, the ore nodes are quite beautiful. Like, Shadowlands... Like, the last couple expansions, the the ore nodes have just been gorgeous. They're not just this lump of, like, color with a couple gems sticking out of them. They're, like, they've got shape and, I don't know, just things to appreciate. So, that's, we've got the refinement section. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Nothing really to go over there. Um, and then we have the Tyravite and Draconium deposits specifically. So, so I'm assuming Titan... Titanicium, we'll go with that, is the rare one. It's the blue one. So you're not going to be able to mine that directly. What I'm assuming, I have not seen any nodes myself. Um, there might be some out there, but I haven't found any. And I'm assuming this is the one that you're going to get um, when you mine, you know, rarely when you mine other ore. So it, it's the rare one. But that said, we have two separate sections here. So Bloody Tyravite Deposit... Let's read what this says. We apparently have, like, hardened, molten, primal, rich, titan, touched, interesting. So let's see what these are. This is different. This is different. So, Tyravite is the most common ore found across the Dragon Isles. Though it is most commonly found in mountainous regions, it is also often revealed around flowing bodies of water. Very nice. Listen to that. It gives us some examples of where we can find it. Very cool. I like that because it's good for the lore. I love the sort of very soft world building. Found only in areas of intense conflict, it is said that blood spilled upon this node provides magical effects to the survivors who inevitably claim it. Mmm. So that's very neat. Gain the following effect when mining. You have a chance when slaying enemy players to gain rousing blood. Lasts two minutes. Further mining or, or herb picking extends the duration. And then it's got some reagent difficulty and some skill. I'm still a little uncertain how all this works. I've not looked into that super intensely. Be assured that I will once, you know, the game is live and I get into professions. I'll be making guides on all this stuff because this is super cool. So 
So that's very interesting for bloody tyravite. Let's look at hardened tyravite. So we get the same description on the first paragraph. And then we have... They are sometimes protected by a thick layer of extra rock, which significantly slows the rate at which miners can claim its valuable ore. And this is for hardened tyravite. Miners specialized in hardened nodes gain the following effects when mining. Damage taken reduced by 5% last two minutes. So this is kind of neat. It looks like we can specialize in different kinds of each node. So there's different kinds of tyravite that are affected by the environment or what's gone on around them. That's really cool. I like that. Instead of, instead of having like 50 different types of ore, we have 50 different variations of the same ore, <laughs> so to speak, which I actually think is interesting. I, I like this new take on it because that feels new for this game, this world. All right, molten tyravite. They are sometimes enveloped in flames, particularly in geologically active regions. It is its unbearable heat often deters novice miners from harvesting its abundance of rousing fire. And remember, this is very fitting because this expansion, while awful, very much about dragons, is also very much about elements, which I'm excited for. I love the elemental stuff. That makes me happy, so... All right, miners specialize in molten nodes will gain the following effect when mining. Envelops you in flame, which causes your attackers to suffer fire damage. Last two minutes. That's kind of fun. I like these little extra effects. That's very cool. All right, primal tyravite deposit. So we have, they are sometimes marked by the primal elements and may reveal additional rousing elements beyond what is normally discovered when mining. All right, interesting. Primers, primers, <laughs> miners specialized in primal nodes gain the following effect when mining. Cooldown reduction on overload increased by 30%. Specialized miners have a chance to deal bonus elemental damage with their spells and abilities. Last two minutes. And overload, we will get to down here because those are pretty crazy. Uh, those are, it's not a type of ore, it's it's an ability. Yeah, mining, miners get some sort of crazy ability, so. Rich Tyravite deposit. Um, let's see, it is also, let's see, rich deposits are particularly dense with ore, sure to delight any miner to stumble upon one. So this is just, you know, we've seen rich ore deposits before, nothing new there, it just has more ore in it. Titan Touch Tyravite deposit. They are sometimes empowered by small titan research constructs. Interesting. Fortunately, they would sooner grant a miner their boon rather than retaliate. Well, that's handy. Gain the following effect when mining. Speed increased by 15%. Miners specialized in titan touch nodes will also have their secondary stats increased by 3%. So that's certainly handy dandy. Certainly handy dandy. All right. There we go. My mouse wasn't showing. <laughs> it is now. I was on the wrong thingy. All right, and then just basic tyravite deposit. So no new information there. It's just basic. And then we have tyravite seam. We haven't seen... Are there seams in Shadowlands? It's been a while since I've done mining. I know Legion did. I know BFA did. Yeah, I think there were seams. Well, anyway. Let's see. Seams are remarkably rare deposits found only deep underground, but are immensely rewarding for any spelunker who finds one. So it's kind of like, you know, um, like rich tyravite, rich deposits where it has more, but it's a seam, so they look a little different and they're underground. Very cool, very cool. So we can specialize in each of these. Handy. Now on the draconium deposits. Draconium deposits are a rare find upon the Dragon Isles, but they are more often spotted in rugged or hard-to-reach locations. Found only in areas of intense conflict, it is said that blood spilled upon this node provides magical effects to the survivors who inevitably claim it. Let's see. Rousing blood. Is this the same as Bloody Tyravite? It looks like it. Yes. So, regular Draconium... Spotted in rugged or hard to reach locations. Draconium seam underground. So it looks like it's kind of the same. It's just for a different 
It's just for draconium instead of terabyte. Let's see. Harden nodes gain following effect from mining. Damage reduced by five. I believe that was the same. Yep, it is. Molten. Let's see. Fire damage. Is that the same? Yes. Uh, primal. Uh, overload increased by 30. I believe that's the same as well. Yeah, it, it is. Rich deposit, of course. And then Titan touched, which is speed by 15%. And it looks like secondary stats by 3. Yep, that's the same. Okay, so it's the same thing. Uh, same kinds of specializations across tier by and Draconium. It's just for the two different ores. So pretty simple, pretty uniform, easy to understand. I like that. So overload effects. This is the crazy one. So, overloading this type of deposit, this is Overload Bloody Node, will cause a devastating shockwave to knock back nearby enemies and fortify yourself. Yeah, that seems interesting. Overload a hardened node. Overloading this type of deposit will cause some of its outer shell to erupt into mineable chunks that give bonus rousing earth. Overload molten node. Overloading this type of deposit will anger a raging fire elemental lurking within. Slaying it will yield bonus rousing fire. So that means if you're mining molten nodes, they have fire elementals in them. Like, like lore-wise, even if you don't, you know, wake it up or make it mad or something. Ah! I, I find that interesting. Overload primal node. Overloading this type of a deposit will grant you all boons gained when mining themed nodes, regardless of your specializations, for zero minutes. I'm sure that's going to have a number on it at some point. And Overload Titan Node. Overloading this type of deposit will cause a portal to open to a nearby mining node. Alright. Specialized miners will open a portal back after mining at their destination. Ha. Huh. So... Yeah. I don't know that I'll be able to test this, but we'll see, because I need scale 25 in Dragon Isles Mining to show you the specializations. I am 21, and I stopped here, so we could do a little more, I don't know, make it a little more interesting, because last time with skinning, I just got there and did it with off screen. I wanted to get at least a few points so you can see me try and fail <laughs> at dragon riding and mining. So let's look for some nodes. Also, I have to say, this incredibly tiny... Um... Oh, shush, Toddy. Oh, no! Recover what you can! Alright, let's see here. Here it is. Tear of eight. In fact, I want to look at this. Like, look, 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 look. <laughs> Let me get off the mount. Hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 eh. Of course, I picked the worst one to try to... <laughs> Here. You can, you can, you can mostly see that. But look at that! Look how beautiful that is! And it's kind of, we'll, we'll find a better one, but it goes, there's more arches, more circular tubes, I guess, <laughs> off the side of it. But it's quite lovely. I really love how these look. These are gorgeous. Here's a rich one. Hey, look at that. Look at these little, like, tombstone -y type scale looking... This is gorgeous. I love this ore. I don't know what, what it is that speaks to me about it, but it's just so pretty. But that's that's me, I guess. I'm very, um... I'm very into, uh... Different, you know, small aesthetics like that. Let's see here. Here's another one. All right, all right, all right. Seems I picked a good area. Had, I'm over here, in case you're wondering, in the Anaran Plains. I started in Veldraken because I this is a instant 70 character for testing. And um, there's not a whole lot of ore, at least in the uh, area I chose for Veldraken. Which is fine. Look at these swirlies. This place is so pretty. I'm absolutely in love with this place. Oh, here's one. There we go. Oh, look at that gorgeous node. Look at that. That is pretty. I like that. Ugh, this place is gorgeous. And with that, we have 
specializations, and we learned a whole bunch of recipes and stuff, it looks like. So, unlearn. Yep. Deposit, yeah. It looks like hitting 25 taught us our specs and also, well, the ability to get our specializations. And also a whole bunch of recipes on all the different deposits. So that's kind of neat. I do I do like that. I was actually expecting to have to go mine my pants off for every node. Kind of like, um, oh, Legion, I think, was this way. For you to learn different special specialization type recipes and then rank it up. You had to mine the crap out of everything. It was kind of, it got kind of old. So I was kind of expecting that. But this is nice. I just, it just gives me the stuff and then I can start doing the thing so I like that all right so we have my little thingy I'm gonna use this a few times because I really 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 like the little level up circular animation thing that they've done for our knowledge all right so we have it looks like three different separate specializations um you can learn all three i'm gonna go ahead and unlock this one at interesting yeah they both say a hundred now um i had pointed this out in the last profession video i did they were originally 25 it was like 75 it's either 50 i think it was 50 and then 100 but it looks like they've changed it so both your other specializations need to be 100 so keeping that in mind, since they're nice enough to let us read everything before we pick one, you're going to want to pick the one that will help you level, I would say, your, your profession the most. But that aside, I can at least do one of them physically and then just read you the rest. So mining process. Let's look at this skill tree. Study the understanding of proper mining techniques to increase your efficiency in mining and allow for new mining opportunities. All right, all right, very neat. So we have mining process. Study the understanding of proper mining techniques to increase your efficiency in mining and allow for new mining opportunities. Gaze, gaze, wow. Gain plus one skill per point in this spec. All right, so let's juice this up. Oh, the animation is so lovely. I do still wish it was a little different for each profession because that's something we looked at in the last one. This is the same for every profession. I would like to see it like a wee bit different, like a different color or something, but that's all right. It's still gorgeous. Ah, look at that little animation. <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. All right, so plus 10 skill when mining all nodes, plus five deafness when mining all nodes, learn a sub spec of your choice, plus five finesse, learn a sub, plus 10 perception, learn the final sub and plus 15 deafness when mining all nodes you can now mine through weak cavens interesting scattered across the dragon isles so that's neat so that means there's going to be cavens apparently that we can mine through hmm. i like that give us an extra little ability so let's learn our first one we have surveying improve your ability to find deposits and rare minerals Found within them. Gain plus <laughs> per point in this specialization. Uh, well, it's calculating improperly there and returning a uh, error value, it looks like. But, you know, they'll fix it. It's not done. Remember, this is alpha. So, surveying. Let's juice this one up. Watch the lovely little animation. Skadoosh. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the one to improve your ability to find deposits and rare materials in them. So this gives us plus 10 perception, plus 5 skill, plus 10 perception, plus 10 perception, plus 5 skill, plus 10 perception, and you have a chance to uncover an illimited, illimited diamond. I don't know why that word is hard for me. When mining seams or rich or deposits. Very neat. Illimited diamond. That, I believe, is one of the really rare um, jewel crafting gems. That's the name. Diamond. That jewel crafters will want. So, hey, extra money. You know, unless you're a jewel crafter. But even then, maybe even more money. <laughs> even better. So, industrialization. Let's learn this and add a whole bunch of knowledge. 
Juice, 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 juice. Watch the lovely little. Yes. All right. What does this do? Increases your ability to extract ore from nodes efficiently and quickly. Gain blank <laughs> when mining. That one uh, seems to be not done as well, but that's fine. Plus five deafness when mining. Plus five skill when mining. Plus five deafness. Plus five deafness. Plus five skill. Plus five deafness. And you have a chance to find gems whenever you mine. Nice. I like that. We're getting gems again with our nodes. That's very cool. Sorting is the next little node here. Deuce, 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 deuce. Hmm. Looks like we have some evil centaur over there. I'm so excited for the centaur. I love the centaur, but we don't really ever see them much because, uh, well, not much has been done with them until now. Ha ha. So sorting. Anyway, focus here. Getting distracted. <laughs> And increase your ability to extract primary ores from deposits. Gain blank per point in this specialization. All right, so plus five finesse, plus five skill, plus five finesse, plus five finesse, plus five skill, plus five finesse, and gain even more ore from finesse. Cool. So finesse, judging by that statement, must mean that you uh, are getting more ore, obviously with the higher finesse that you have. So with your skill, or finesse in this case, you, you get more out of it. So I like that, being able to more carefully and accurately get your ore out because of this little extra thing here. So that's nice. So that is very, very simple there. That's the mining process one. And then we also have metallurgy and mastering the elements. So metallurgy, I can't learn it because I am not mining 100, but that's okay. We can still read everything. So this one, further your understanding on the different metals found across the Dragon Isles. Specializi specializing, I was trying to say specializationing. <laughs> Same thing, right? And this path will increase your efficiency as a miner and gain the ability to refine your ores. That must be a world quest. World quests must have ticked over. I'm max level, so I can see those. Anyways, um... Oh, nothing spawns around here. Let me check, make sure I'm actually safe. <laughs> yeah, am I good? Am I good? Yeah, I think I'm good. All right. Further your understanding on the different metals found across the Dragon Isles, specializing in this path will increase your efficiency as a miner and gain the ability to refine your ores into a higher quality. Hey, I like the sound of that. So the first one here... Let's see. Increase your ability as minor, refine your ores, higher quality, gain plus one skill. Oh. Okay, he's not coming over here. I just saw red and got a little worried. <laughs> gain plus one skill when mining all nodes per point in this specialization. So, first one is learn how to refine quality one ore to quality two. So, this is where we get these recipes. Um, we don't have them in here. They refine ones we looked at first. Yep. These ones are still grayed out. That's where we get them is from this little tree, from this spec. Cool. So quality one to quality two, plus five finesse when mining all nodes. Learn a sub of your choice, plus five skill. Refining Titanicium now has a small chance of uncovering Awakened Order. Interesting. Plus five skill. Learn the final sub. Plus five perception. Learn how to refine quality to titanium to quality three. All right, so that's that. And then we have Tyravite and Draconium. So Tyravite, specialize in the understanding of Tyravite to improve your ability to gather and refine this metal in various ways. Gain plus one skill when mining all nodes per point in this specialization. So we have plus 10 skill when mining Tyravite, plus 10 deafness, plus 10 skill, uh, plus something <laughs> that hasn't been added yet. Plus 10 skill, plus 5 perception for rich Tyravite veins and seams. Learn how to refine Tyravite from quality 2 to quality 3. Plus 5 finesse for rich Tyravite veins and seams. And refining Tyravite ore now has a small chance of finding gems. Handy. 
So, Draconium, I assume this is going to be the same thing as Tyravite, just for Tyravite. So, plus 10 skill, deafness, skill, finesse, um, quality 2 to quality 3, plus 5 perception for rich uh, Draconium veins and seams, plus 5 skill, plus 5 finesse, and refining Draconium ore now has a small chance of finding rousing essences. So, nice and simple. This just increases your yield of extra stuff, it looks like. Um, as well as skill and finesse. Because from what it seems, this finesse will make sure you get more ore. So this increases your total yield of special and ore. I like that. So very nice. Very nice. Now we have mastering the elements as our last little spec here. So, Mastering the Elements. As elemental chaos runs rampant in the Dragon Isles, experienced miners have discovered new techniques to tap into remnants of these magics found within these precious metals. So, gain plus one skill on all elemental nodes per point in this specialization. So, learn a uh, spell name, bunch of numbers, also not done, <laughs> which allows you to channel energy into elemental nodes for unique bonuses and effects. Interesting. This must be the overload stuff, because I, I don't seem to have... It says passive. These seem to be passive. I'm not sure if there's like... A bar and like every X amount of nodes you will overload it or if it's random but they're all passive they don't seem to be like abilities I can control as far as I can tell don't know but let's read the uh, thing here I'm going to assume this is for for that for the overloads so that's the only thing I think of so plus five perception when mining elemental nodes learn a sub Gain additional rousing essences when mining elemental nodes. Learn a sub. Plus five perception. Learn a sub. Plus five perception. Learn the final sub. Plus ten skill. And whenever you overload, yep, that must be part of it here, you also gain a random rousing essence. So that is the base node for mastering the elements. Let's go left to right again. Uh, we have Molten, Harden, Titan Touch, and Primal, which seem to be the different types that we touched on back here in the recipes. So, let's look at Molten first. Specializing in Molten nodes will allow you to acquire additional Rousing Fire and improve your efficiency in mining these nodes. Gain plus one skill in Molten nodes per point in this specialization. So, that's very cool. And can I just say, like, on a note before we continue here, I really like that they're adding this extra incentive, if you will, to master your... Um, gathering. I didn't know what to call them for a second. You're gathering professions. They're not just, you know, go smack on some rocks and hear your yield. It's, you know, if, if you specialize this, if you get these extra points, and it's it, there's more interactivity with it, and I really like that. That just seems more interesting to me. Like, I used to do a lot of gathering. I did a crap ton of it from Mop to Legion, and I've just kind of been burnt out. Like, I didn't do much in BFA. I didn't do even less. I did even less gathering herbs or, or skinning in Shadowlands. Like, almost none. I just kind of bought everything if I needed it. I've just been burnt out, you know? Like, eh. But this feels like it might be interesting. Like, it's going to spice it up a bit. It's different. It's not the same mindless going around and smacking a node for every time you see one. Like, I don't know, it's boring to me, so this seems interesting. So, let's look at the Molten Tree, well, uh, ring bonuses thing here. <laughs> damage dealt by mining Molten Nodes reduced by 50%, oh, which means you're going to take damage, alright. Plus 5 Finesse, plus 10 Perception, plus 5 Finesse. Mining any themed node now reduces the cooldown of an overload by an additional 5%. So apparently we're going to have a cooldown for overload. I figured as much what that cooldown is. I'm uncertain. Uh, maybe it's in my passives or something. Let's look at that real quick here. Is that maybe in here? I'm very possibly blind. Um, 
No, I don't see it. And then we have just basic... Okay. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Well, that's fine. Uh, plus 10 perception when mining molten nodes. Plus 5 finesse. Plus 10 perception. Uh, mining molten nodes empowers you with the element of fire. Your abilities cause the enemy to erupt in flame for 6 seconds. So... That's very cool. So this is, must be how we learn these. Uh, well, we have the overload effects. Maybe that part's not completely done yet. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So that's molten. Then we have hardened. Um, this says specializing in hardened nodes will allow you to acquire additional rousing earth and improve your efficiency in many of these nodes. Gain plus one skill in molten nodes per point in this spec. So plus 10 deafness when mining hardened nodes. Plus 5 finesse, plus 10 perception, plus 5 finesse. Mining any overload or a themed node now reduces the cooldown of overload by an additional 5%. So notice, notice that says any themed node by 5%, by an additional 5%. So that means, um, assuming that's the same for all four of these, you could get an extra 20% uh, cooldown reduction for your overload. Assuming that all stacks, and that's why it says it like that. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Incentive to learn all of them and not just one. Plus 10 perception. Plus 5 finesse. Plus 10 perception. Mining hardened nodes will grant you a shield of stone. That's cool. That reduces all damage you take by 5% for X. Looks like they haven't decided on a time for that yet. But that is cool. Now we have Titan touched. I like the sound of that one. That sounds cool. Specializing in Titan Touch nodes allows you to discover gateways that allow you to traverse to nearby mining nodes quickly and gain additional essences when mining. Plus one skill on Titan Touch nodes per point in this spec. See, this seems really interesting to me because it says discover gateways that allow you to traverse to nearby mining nodes quickly and gain additional essences nearby. So like... I like the sound of this one because, let's see, da, 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 da. Hmm. I don't see where it said that, but but it, it it's like, I'm trying to think about how to word this because it's kind of funky. So like, I'll just go with an example. You know how you have, usually, if you're, if you have any experience with mining or herbing, you have like a root. Like, if you're, if you're doing this more than once, you usually figure out some sort of route or, t or you use someone else's recommended route and you follow it. And, you know, by the time you get around, ideally, to where you started, everything will have respawned and you can just keep going. But what this feels like it's going to do is it's going to shake that up a bit because you're traveling to a nearby mining node. And I don't know how, like, random or if it's, like, very specific... Like, I don't know. You, you kind of feel me? I know I'm having a hard time explaining this. But that seems interesting. It won't be such a static pattern. Or maybe it will be. Anyways, I don't know. It depends on how random or not random that nearby gateway thing is. So, I don't know. Either way, it sounds fun. I like the idea of that. Fun is definitely what we're going for here. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Attune yourself to the portals opened by overloading Titan Touch nodes, allowing you to return to the first portal to where the first portal opened. So, that's handy. Plus 5 finesse when mining Titan Touch nodes. Plus 10 perception. Plus 5 finesse. Mining any themed node re now reduces the cooldown of overload by an additional 5. Plus 10 perception. Plus 5 finesse. Plus 10 perception. And mining titan nodes now grant you a buff that increases your speed and secondary stats. So that's cool. So the last one here we have is primal. Embrace the chaos found within primal nodes to increase your ability to gather elemental essences and further your understanding of the chaotic elements. Dot dot. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Gain plus one skill on primal nodes per point in this spec. So, primal. Primal nodes now have a chance to contain rousing air or rousing frost. Essences not traditionally found by miners. I like that. I like that inclusion there. Plus five finesse. Plus five perception. Plus five finesse. 
Uh, mining any theme node now reduces the cooldown of overload by an additional 5%. So, yep, you can 5, 10, 15, 20% total reduction on your cooldown for overload. So that's pretty cool. Plus 5 perception, plus 5 finesse, plus 5 perception, and primal essence now also gives your spills and abilities a chance to unleash a random school of damage and a secondary effect. That's pretty cool. So just suddenly damage. <laughs> Very neat. Alright, so nice and simple. Nothing too crazy, but then again, actually kind of crazy with this whole overload business. So that was mining. Not as fancy as, you know, and long as the other crafting professions, because it's not a crafting profession, it's gathering. And it, honestly, I'm delighted that we're getting crafting, I'm not crafting, gathering profession specializations at all. I honestly did not expect us to. Um, so thank you to the devs for that, because I can imagine it's uh, taking some brainstorming to figure out what the heck you would do with this type of stuff. Because on one hand, there's so many different ways you could go, but on the other hand, what would realistically function okay? You know, you know, like, you can't go too crazy or it's going to break everything. But I, I like this. I'm, I'm eager to try this out at some point when I have time. I want to see what the overloading thing is. That sounds crazy. Um, it says it's a passive. Uh, where am I going here? Yeah, they say passive on them. Five yard range, passive. So I assume that means it's like random, but I don't know. I don't have time to check that out. Uh, maybe it's not even done. Who knows? Hello, burb. So that's mining. I'm definitely excited to see the remaining professions, which are... Um, we still have herbalism. That I checked the, the... It's not a vendor. It's like a vendor. <laughs> the trainer. I uh, didn't have herbalism, and I did not see enchanting yet. Which is our last two major professions. And then we also have fishing. Which is our secondary profession. But cooking didn't have any specializations. I'll go check again. Uh, I don't know that they're going to add specializations to cooking and fishing and etc. Cetera, et cetera. I, don't, I really like it if they, w if they do. That would be really cool. But I didn't see any on cooking at least. So, Anyway, enough of that. That's mining. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember... It's never too latte.